Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my five minute dumbbell workout. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Today's workout, we're going to use multiple muscle groups at the same time, so very much functional. Uh, take one out of the equation if you need to at any time. I'm using five pound dumbbells, just if you're wondering. We're gonna start with squat, bicep curl overhead. I'm gonna angle myself, feet are hip width apart, Make sure your toes are lined up with each other. We're gonna go right into it. So you're gonna squat, curl, overhead, down, squat, curl, overhead. There you go. Now normally we would break these down, but with only five minutes, we're gonna go right into it. So if you need to break it down and just do a few at a time or parts of it, go ahead. Make sure overhead press slightly forward Hips, make sure those heels stay down. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep breathing. One more. Triceps with a tri um, plie. So feet out wide, toes and knees are turned out, tailbone under. I want you to start by just bending those knees a little bit so to make sure the toes and knees are lined up. And then bring those dumbbells together, up and around. Squeeze your elbows towards each other, and then everything bends, everything straightens. Squeeze those inner thighs together as you come up. Squeeze the triceps as you reach to the sky. Dumbbells go straight up, so your elbows are right by your head. Make sure they're pointing forward towards me. Imagine you're on ice skates, you don't want to do the splits. One more, and bring those dumbbells down. You're gonna turn over to the side, <clears throat> back heel straight up. We're gonna start with an upright row, so I'm gonna angle myself. So lunge, zipping up and down. Elbows are leading, everything bends, everything straightens. Look at those front toes, dropping the knee straight down. Got it. Again, you can take one part of the workout out of the equation if you need to. Try to do them together if you can. This functional training, we don't do just one thing or we don't use just one muscle group at a time when we're doing daily activities. So it's kind of the same idea. Let's do one more. Okay, flip on over. Back heel straight up. We're gonna do hammer curls with this one. Palms facing in, roll the hip under, whoop. There you go. Keep breathing. Wiggle those front toes. Elbows into the sides. Couple more. One more. Straight out. Good job. Okay. Feet are hip width apart. Toes are forward. We're going to go into a bent over row and then to a pullback or reverse fly. So you're going to hinge forward, keep your back nice and flat. Then you can either do a pull back or a reverse fly and then you're gonna come up. So you can do one or the other, <clears throat> pull back or reverse fly. I'm gonna alternate between the two so you can see the difference. And you can do the same also. Reverse fly is a little more challenging. Your palms will face in, squeeze the shoulder blades. Just make sure you're not bouncing with that. Got it. Legs are straight. Pull your abdominals in. It's very important to keep those abs in check to protect your lower back. And up. Curtsy lunge with an external rotation. So elbows are 90 degree, palms facing up. You're gonna step back, back heels off the floor, and then you're going to open up as you lunge. Come back up. Stay with that leg. 
back heel is straight up and you're crossed with that leg, but make sure your hips are still facing me. <clears throat> That's gonna get the inner and outer thighs. And the external rotation gets into the shoulders. Those rotate your muscles in there. One more. Switch legs. Same thing for the upper body. Doing great, we're almost there. And you can take one piece out if you need to. Let's do two more. And release. That's your five minute dumbbell workout. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. And then yesterday's five minute workout is right below there too. Thank you so much for coming. Bye.